Good afternoon. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to our Faculty of Technology Student Awards celebration. My name's Ian Peake and I'm the principal of Herefordshire and Ludlow College. This afternoon's event is to celebrate the outstanding achievements of our Faculty of Technology students. This academic year has been especially challenging with the enforced college closure from the 23rd of March, but you, our award-winning students, have persevered with your learning and been extremely successful. Congratulations to all of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my colleagues, teachers, managers, support staff, and college governors for your extraordinary commitment to the college and to your students. The great lengths you have gone to, to teach, encourage and motivate your students, most especially during the last three months. And for your unswerving loyalty and commitment to our college, to your students and your colleagues. I would also like to thank the parents and carers of our students and others who have helped and supported them in their learning. Education is a community wide endeavour. I understand and appreciate your contribution to our students achievements. But let us not forget, however, that our focus this afternoon is on our students. You have done very well to achieve these results. They will stand you in good stead for the future, whether you intend to continue your studies with us next year, find employment or continue your learning elsewhere. Congratulations to all of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce you to my colleague, Dr. John Gill, Assistant Principal. Thank you. Thank you, Ian, um, and hello and welcome everyone to the Faculty of Technology's uh, Student Awards event 2020. Um, and in particular, I welcome uh, our students and their parents and their families and friends who uh, we hope have been able to join us uh, virtually. Um, needless to say, this year's awards is very different from those in all previous years and very much different from what we had started to plan back in January. Um, but we felt very strongly um, that it was still important that we didn't let the coronavirus get in the way of recognising the achievements of this year's cohort of students. And although the academic year has not ended in the way that they or any of us had planned, their efforts and abilities should not go un unrecognised and as such, not without celebration. So we're holding this ceremony in the same venue and on the same date and following the same format as originally planned, albeit with a, a lot less people in the room um, and no buffet on this occasion. So we've all had to bring our own um, packed lunches for today. Um, and as we've, as we've seen uh, with the return of football to our screens, uh, it's not quite the same without the fans and this is not quite the same today without the students being physically present um, to collect their awards and their certificates, but it's no less important for that. Um, to put things into context, the faculty has delivered education and training to around 600 full time students this year uh, across a, a wide range of different courses and levels. Um, and in addition to around 200 part time students and around 300 apprentices. And our main task here at the college, uh, I think, is to provide a stepping stone. Um, students will typically spend one, two or three years here, and it's our job to teach them the knowledge and the skills in their chosen subjects to ensure that when they eventually leave us, they're better equipped to take the next step into the world, whether that's to university or higher education, into work or an apprenticeship, family life or wherever their ambitions and abilities can take them. But education is more than just the sum of its parts. It's more than just a certificate of achievement. The most valuable skills any student will learn during their time here are those skills that will make them a success in life, no matter what path they choose. Um, confidence, resilience, initiative, communication, teamwork, 
determination, an ability to adapt to a world that is constantly changing and rarely have we experienced such momentous change than at present. And it's about preparing them for the careers and a future that none of us can really anticipate. So today, therefore, is about more than celebrating the achievement of a qualification or a certificate. It's about recognising everything else that the best of our students have demonstrated. So we shall be recognising and celebrating the success of the best of our students this year, and they have all been nominated for their awards by their teachers. And we shall hear something of why each one of them has been nominated as their names are announced. There are two main award categories, the Student of the Year Award and the Best Progress Award. And from all of these nominations, I shall, at the end of this ceremony, announce the overall Faculty Student of the Year Award for 2020. We can't physically hand out certificates today, so these will be posted out to you over the next few days. Um, and all award winners will also receive a glass award. And we will let you know when these will be available to collect from the college once things return back to normal. So we're going to split the award announcements into three sections, starting with Mike Cocum, who will announce the awards for his curriculum areas. As we would normally, uh, we are going to allow a small pause between each announcement to allow for applause. So please do join in at home. And so I'm going to uh, invite uh, Mike Cocum to present the first round of awards for his area. Thanks, Mike. Thank you, John. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Mike Cocum. I'm the team leader for engineering, which encompasses mechanical and electrical engineering, as well as music technology, motor vehicle and computing and IT. Um, before I get into the announcing the award winners, I would like to say a real special thank you from me, adding to what Ian has said about the staff in, in engineering. They have been absolutely fantastic during the lockdown period and leading up to that. The I'm sure you'll agree the work that they've set and administered for you has been absolutely outstanding. So I, I really want to pay tribute to them. And also, it's always a pleasure to read these awards out, but I think the, the winners this year, you really have, you know, stepped up another level. I think to win an award at any time is an incredible experience. But what you've done this year is you've learned to take your learning to the next step. So you've learned skills that will stay with you for the rest of your lives in terms of, you know, uh, responding to online learning and topping up what you've already learned in college by doing work by, you, by yourselves or in, in your home setting. So a real well done from me to all of you for, for having achieved what you've achieved. I'm now going to get into the awards then, and the first one is for the BTEC Level 2 Diploma in Engineering, and it is for Best Progress. And this award goes to a student who has excellent attendance and has made steady progress on the course, showing a positive attitude towards learning in both practical and theory sessions. And this award goes to Ryan Hopcutt. My next award is for the student of the year in the level two diploma in engineering and this goes to a person who has consistently produced good work throughout the course. He has achieved good results in all subjects, including online exams and maths. His attendance has been very good, as has his attitude and engagement with virtual learning. So congratulations, Finley Sullivan Jones. The next award is for the Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 2 Group A, and it is for Best Progress. And this student has been a pleasure to teach. 
they've progressed from level two. They've completed the level three extended diploma and they're going to move on to a career in engineering. This person is well mannered, fully engaged in the course and has engaged with all the online learning that we've set. Uh, congratulations to Joshua Jordan. The next award is for the Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 2 Group A Student of the Year. And this goes to a student who has impressed all his tutors with his commitment to his studies and in particular the additional effort that he put into his project work this year. Again, he's been a pleasure to teach and has been a welcome influence to the group dynamic. We wish him all the best in his future career. Well done. Ian Sutton. The next award is the Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 2 Group B Best Progress Award. And this person again has been a pleasure to teach and it's been a pleasure to see them progress from the level two and to complete the level three extended diploma. This person responded very well to the intervention and support provided by teaching staff and showed that he's capable of very effective remote working during lockdown. We wish him all the best for a future career in engineering. Congratulations, Cameron Lothian. The next award is for the Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 2 Group B, and this is the Student of the Year Award. This student has shown himself to be a capable and responsible young man, combining his studies with extracurricular responsibilities. In addition to the main course, he undertook the Level 3 Core Maths option which he also did very well in. He's been a pleasant and respectful student to teach and we wish him all the best in his future career. Well done, Aston Rakewell. <laughs> the next award is for the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 1 Group A. This is the Best Progress Award. And this student has again progressed from the level two engineering course and is someone who, it, who has been very committed to his work. He always does himself proud. He's made a good transition to level three and his determination to work to the best of his ability is paying off. Well done, Tom Taylor. The next award is the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 1 Group A. This is for Student of the Year. This student has made excellent progress and has an excellent attitude to college work. They've coped very well with coursework and with working remotely. The work they produce has been of the highest quality. They're always keen to learn. They've successfully gained uh, regular work experience in an engineering placement as well. So well done, Zante Stone. <laughs> the next award is the Extended Diploma in Engineering Year One Group B Best Progress Award. And this student has really settled in well to the level three diploma. It's been, you know, a pleasure to see the transition that this person's made. They're well mannered, polite and engaged. They've been a pleasure to teach. They've shown themselves as capable of rising to the challenge by being very effective of re remote working during lockdown. And we look forward to welcoming them in back next year. Well done, Rhys Bythel. The next award is the Level 3 Extended Diploma in Engineering Year 1 Group B Student of the Year. This student settled into the group well over the year and has impressed all of his tutors with his commitment, both in class and during the period of lockdown learning. 
he is capable and he is a responsible young man. He's been a pleasure to teach and been a welcome influence on the group. Well done, Craig Collier. OK, moving on to um, the awards in music technology. So my first award is for the level two diploma in music technology best progress. This student uh, came to the course with an interest in music technology and an eagerness to learn, but no discernible music skills. Over the year, he's grown in confidence and competence with his music production skills and has demonstrated leadership qualities with the groups he's been assigned to work with. He's a worthy winner of this award. Well done, Adam Woof. <laughs> the next award is the Level 2 Diploma in Music Technology Student of the Year. Uh, this student has consistently produced work of a very high standard and has embraced the ethos of working independently. He's contributed well in sessions and demonstrated exemplary behaviours in class, his attention to detail and his ability to work well in either individual or group contexts has served him well. Well done, Matthew Edmonds. <laughs> the next award is the Level 3 Diploma in Music Technology Year 1 Best Progress. This student has had a very productive year. Her standard of work and her self-discipline are very high and she always wants to do her best. The dedication she's shown so far has been very impressive and will stand her in good stead for the future. Well done, Louise Evans. The next award is the Level 3 Diploma in Music Technology Year 1 Student of the Year. This student has consistently set herself high standards and has endeavoured to meet them. Her attention to detail and professional attitude has been outstanding and will serve her well in the future. Well done, Rhiannon Staunton. The next award is the Level 3 Diploma Music Technology Year 2 Student of the Year Award. Just double check. And this goes to uh, some, uh, a student who's consistently been ahead of the game this year. His understanding and desire for the subject had already clicked last year, but this year this has been driven home. He truly is a worthy winner of this award. Well done, Joe Ridgway. <laughs> so moving on to the awards in motor vehicle. Uh, the first award is for the level one diploma best progress. This student has made excellent progress this year. He pays attention in theory sessions as well as practical and always gets involved. It's clear he has enthusiasm for automotive technology. So well done, Cameron Stoner. <laughs> the next award is the Level 1 Diploma Student of the Year. Uh, and again, this student present, uh, produces excellent work and is someone who's popular with both peers and teachers, which is an unusual combination usually. <laughs> He's shown good progress in theory and practical lessons and is able to apply his knowledge well. He's a bright future ahead of him in the automotive industry. Well done, Ewan Craig. The next award is the Level 2 Diploma in Motor Vehicle Best Progress Award. And this student has progressed at a fast pace this year, coming from a different course last year. 
So that's quite unusual. Students normally progress from level one to level two. But this student has adapted her knowledge and practical skills very well to help support what she's needed to achieve. She's worked extremely hard in theory and in practical sessions and always does her best. Well done, Neve Masam Valali. The next award is the Level 2 Diploma in Motor Vehicle Student of the Year Award. This student has shown excellent subject knowledge throughout the year. His written work is always detailed and exceeds many parts of the specific unit criteria needed to achieve a pass. His attendance to classes is excellent and the practical tasks are always completed with confidence. Well done, Josh Berry. The next award is the Level 3 Diploma in Motor Vehicle Best Progress Award. Um, and despite having no prior experience in this area uh, and making a, a real sort of significant change in direction from her previous studies as an art student, this student has progressed from Level 1, so Level 2 to Level 3 by just put in a sheer hard work in to improve her understanding of theory and practical work. She was the first student to complete her outstanding theory work in lockdown despite a rural location causing extensive issues with broadband etc. Well done Esme Lorimer. The next award is the Level 3 Diploma in Motor Vehicle Student of the Year Award. Since lockdown, here's, uh, this person has worked extremely well as he, as he did in the main programme. His introduction uh, to the programme has, has really shown that he's got the qualities of a model student. His work ethic is outstanding. Again, he's someone who's progressed from level one to level two, level three. He's also a polite and engaging individual. So congratulations, Shane Badley. <laughs> the next award is the level three 90 credit diploma in computing and ICT best progress award. And this student has worked diligently since joining the course slightly late. He continued to walk to work conscientiously during the lockdown period, achieving three distinctions, three merits and three passes for the nine units. We look forward to welcoming him back next year. Well done, Ethan Wilson. <laughs> the next award is the level three extended Diploma in Computing and ICT Year One Student of the Year Award. This student has progressed from the Level Two course and worked exceptionally hard throughout the year. He's also continued to work conscientiously throughout the lockdown, achieving six distinctions and three merits for the nine units. He's a worthy winner of this award. So congratulations, Dan Meadmore. The next award is the Level 3 90 credit diploma or ex extended diploma year two in, uh, in computing best progress. And this student has worked quietly but diligently submitting work to deadlines throughout the year. He continued to work well during lockdown again to achieve 15 distinctions, one merit, two passes. We wish him the best for the future. Congratulations, Sid Mumford. Wait for the presentation to catch up. Yay. The next award is for the Level 3 90 Credit Diploma in Computing and ICT Year 2, Student of the Year. So the extended diploma. 
This goes to a person who's worked extremely hard submitting distinction level work to deadlines throughout the year. He's obtained an interview position for the NHS earlier in the year and impressed the interviewing panel with his maturity and commitment. He continued to work conscientiously throughout the lockdown, submitting work ahead of deadlines to achieve 18 distinctions, an outstanding achievement. Well done, Sam Johnston. The next award is the Level 2 Diploma in ICT Best Progress Award. And again, this student has progressed from the, uh, the previous course, which in this case was Level 1, and it has worked exceptionally hard throughout the year. Again, he continued to work conscientiously throughout the lockdown, earning a merit in the process. Keep up the good work and well done, Tom Williams. <laughs> the next award is the Level 2 Diploma in ICT Student of the Year Award. This student has worked diligently throughout the year, producing some of the best work we've ever seen on this course, earning him a distinction in the process. This determination to perform to the best of his ability will serve him very well in the future. Well done, Lucas Lathwell. That concludes the awards for engineering. I'm now going to hand you over to Mark Scott to announce the winners in foundation studies. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Uh, I'm Mark Scott from foundation studies, and we've been very impressed this year with the commitments of our students, not only during uh, before lockdown, but especially since lockdown with their commitment to online uh, work, uh, work that's been set for them to do independently, their maths and English and their main aims. And uh, they're really impressed with, with the actual work that they produce as well. Obviously with uh, support from our dedicated LSAs and staff. Um, what we're going to look at this afternoon is the awards for the various different courses that we uh, follow. Uh, the first of one is for Seton Gills Employability Skills Level for Best Progress. This learner has been excellent motivation all the way through the year, has been very focused as the years progressed and as uh, from where this person started at the beginning of the year, where they are is unrecognisable. Uh, this award goes to Kyle Williams. <laughs> this next award is uh, for Seton Gills Employability Skills Level 1. This is for Student of the Year. Uh, this student is an outstanding commitment to her work. Uh, in fact, she's actually here today uh, working in the LSE. Uh, she always gives good maximum effort and is a valued member of the group. This award goes to Abby Townsend. <laughs> this next area of study is employability skills level two. Uh, this uh, particular uh, award is for best progress. This student has a very good level of commitment. This conscientious student has given excellent efforts during, during the year and is a very valued member of the actual uh, group itself. Has always got some good opinions. This is uh, for best progress for Seb Alosk. <laughs> this is for employability skills level two for student of the year. This student has excellent commitment, reliable, motivated, and again, is a valued member of the group and has always got some good opinions to give to the groups and to support others within her group. This goes to Millie Herford. <laughs> this area of study is foundation uh, construction level one, and this area is for best progress. Uh, this person has progressed unbelievably from where he started beginning of the year to where he is now. He's really hit his milestones along the way. His confidence and skill level have both increased considerably 
and where he is now, I'm really impressed with this student. This is for best progress for Liam Wildsmith. <laughs> this is for construction level one student of the year. This student has excelled in all areas throughout the year, not in his main aim, but for English and maths as well. He's dedicated to work and even during lockdown, he's uh, come online all the time to make sure that he's uh, achieved what is expected of him. His, uh, his approach to the college work has been outstanding at all points. We're very impressed with this student. This is for James Lee. <laughs> this qualification is the introduction to hospitality industry, and this is the best progress. This person has focused in all lessons and completed all of her work to a good standard. Again, this person has progressed really, really well throughout the year. And I'm really impressed with all the different milestones that she's hit. This is the best progress. This is for Casey Priest. <laughs> this is for student of year for introduction to hospitality industry. This person has uh, been very good at producing some excellent work. His confidence has grown throughout the year, which can be seen all the way through the work that he's produced. What he does now is absolutely excellent. He uh, communicates well, he produces work to a good standard. And again, during lockdown, he has been there at every opportunity to complete work and to be included in online lessons. This is student of the year for James Howard. This area of study is skills for work in life, entry two and three, and this is for best progress. This learner has had a very good first year in college. He's always been on time for every lesson and his confidence has grown throughout the year. Again, he produces work to his best of his ability. And again, through the lockdown, he's been there of every opportunity to complete work, either independently or uh, online lessons. So this is for best progress, Joe Carter. This is student of the year for skills work in life, entry two and three. This person has put 100% effort into every task of this year. She has been enthusiastic and willing to get involved in all her lessons, showing good attitude towards her work. Well done, Tanisha Thomas. This is Foundation Health and Social Care, and this is for best progress. This uh, particular student ha is very friendly, it's caring, open, and is always really good at making sure she's included in all the lessons that she uh, is involved in. Uh, this goes for best progress for Abigail Hawkett. This is for student of the year for Foundation Health and Social Care. This student has been dedicated, cheerful and hardworking. Again, make sure she's involved in all the lessons that I participate in, and make sure that she completes the work to the highest standard she possibly can. For the student of the year, well done, Alicia Cook. <laughs> this area study is BTEC Level 1 Diploma for IT. This is for best progress. I've been really impressed with this student. Very, very impressed with the milestones he's hit throughout the year. His confidence has grown. His self-belief has risen. He uh, approaches work to the best of his ability at all times. This is for best progress, Peter Belsey. This is BTEC Level 1 Diploma for IT, and this is for Student of the Year. This student is a hard-working person. They've dedicated all his studies, math, English, and main aim throughout the year. He's been, I've been really impressed with the way he's committed to every aspect of this course. Even though sometimes he finds it quite difficult in classroom environments, he's put the effort in to make sure that he has progressed to the best of his ability and achieved some great things this year. Well done, Ewan Griffiths for Student of the Year.
I'm now going to hand on to Phil, who's from construction. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark. Hi, I'm Phil Kitchener, I'm team leader of construction. Uh, I have great pleasure to uh, announce the following awards for the construction students. Um, and it's down to the commitment of the staff and students that we're here today. I'm going to start off with the first one, which is electrical installation, and this is best progress. The student uh, faced some challenges at the start of the year, but she worked hard and provided work of a very high standard. Well done on finishing strongly. Bonnie Ferguson. With a late shift into the group, this student has grown to becoming a valued member amongst his peers. He has consistently produced work uh, to a very high standard and is keen to learn. Matthew Shaw. Shift on to level two electrical installations, breast progress. At first, he was very shy and had limited construction knowledge, but is now one of the best students on the course and is liked by all. Well done, Joe Davies. <laughs> student of the year, still electrical. This student is very proficient within a workshop setting or classroom. He's gone from strength to strength and stands out as a great student producing quality work in a timely manner. Well done, Tom Sweet. <laughs> this student started quiet and reserved and has and in the year has progressed with confidence and demonstrates a good understanding and is able to work and support others in his peer group. It's not afraid to ask questions. Well done, Adam Mulwiski. <laughs> Despite being shy and quiet, this student has built on a success of a level two and has produced some outstanding work at level three. He quickly learns new skills and is able to put these into practice. Well done, Matthew, for producing a high standard of work, Matthew Layton. <laughs> okay, we now switch into brickwork, uh, and the, this is uh, quite a lengthy one, so I think the tutor, it's just about what the tutor thinks of the individuals, and I'll explain. Uh, within this college, there are two students that could not be further apart. They were thrown together as a pairing at the start of the year and have become a formidable duo. They are both first in the queue at the start of the class and after every break. One goes straight to the plans and the tools, and the other gets the materials. They certainly epitomise ergonomics. They are also last to stop working and clean up, and on occasions have had to be forceful to make them stop. Their quality of work and their attitude uh, has always been excellent. They are both a credit to their families and a pleasure to teach. In fact, this is one of the most uh, what is basic. In fact, if there is one thing that I've missed most uh, about the enforced away, stay away from college is the opportunity to teach these two students. I found it impossible to separate them. So joint winners for Brickwork Level 2 Student of the Year is Lewis Snell and Jude Sweeney. <laughs> Level 1 Brickwork. So much progress made since starting with us in Brickwork. He has a focus on his goals and, and his clear dis distinctions from, sorry, excuse me. He has had to focus on his goals and ignore clear distractions from his peers. He has shown great maturity and has proven that he wants to do this. We are looking forward to working with him and naturing his abilities next year, Regan Bridges. Seems to be a thing with Brickwork. They've done a joint award for the next one, so I'll read out the two blurbs uh, before I uh, toggle onto the slide. The student has produced some exceptional work and started on the Brickland course. His attention to detail and work ethic has been great. He has said that he'd be a great asset to any construction com company, and that is Jack Hildrop. But following on from that, and also another Jack, Jack is a fantastic member of the group. He produces some excellent work and focus on determination to achieve his best. He is and will be an asset to any employer who is willing to take him on, Jake Bradford. <laughs> now switch to carpentry and joinery. 
for level two, 100% attendance and punctuality, always polite and has shown great interest in all aspects of the course. His standards has improved throughout the year and he is now ready to enter the workplace as a qualified carpenter, qualified carpenter, Josh Savage. <laughs> Level two carpentry and joinery student of the year. He has shown real commitment to the, complete his practical work ahead of time to a high standard and will make a very good carpenter. Owen Pierce. <laughs> Level one carpentry and joinery. Her attendance is one of the highest in the year and behavior in the workshop and classroom has been excellent. Being respectful at all times. She has worked extremely hard on improving her hand power tools and knowledge within the industry. This hard work has been rewarded by Claudia achieving this qualification. Well done, Claudia Prosser. This student is always on time and has an excellent record of attendance. He has shown excellent hand and power tools, skills, and, and his distinction and merit in all of the grades and practical tasks taken. His positive approach to the qualification has resulted in him achieving this level one, and we now look forward to introducing him back to level two. This is awarded to level one carpentry joiner and student of the year, Cornell Melowitz. Shift on to plumbing now. Uh, the student has progressed in leaps and bounds since the beginning of the year. He is quite a character and liked by all of his peers. Josh Stillwell. <laughs> plumbing student of the year. I've never seen a student so motivated and focused on all my time of teaching and education. He has always kept his head down and worked continually for the whole session, only to stop over, over and lighten the day with a joke or two. He will make an excellent tradesman, Jack Thompson. <laughs> level two plumbing, best progress. He has progressed uh, from a level one course and has ex excelled in all topics uh, and now into level two. Always strived for perfection, is excellent timekeeping in all subjects and a pleasure to have in the classroom. Charlotte Williams. <laughs> Level two student of the year. A fantastic student, has a thirst for knowledge, distinctions in most of her exams. All of her practical work pieces are always finished the highest of standard. Andrea Lawler. Furniture making level two. Despite the arduous commute, the student has always attended class well, rarely missed sessions and arriving or arriving late. She works diligently in class, always motivated and quietly getting on with her work. She had made fantastic progress this year and now demonstrates a better affinity with tools and quite confidence, which I hope she develops further at level three. Best progress, Eliza Church. And finally, level two furniture making. Uh, this is student of the year. This student has always worked to exacting standards, producing work of a very high quality in both practical and theory lessons. He's embraced all aspects of furniture making and design and demonstrates that all that, that excuse me, Uh, sorry, I'll start again and demonstrates all the hallmarks of becoming a successful furniture maker. I've been delighted with the progress of this academic year and look forward to meeting with him again at level three. Benjamin Jones. <laughs> that now concludes instruction and I'll hand you back to John. Thank you. Thank you, Phil. Um, I just have uh, four more awards um, to announce. 
um, as well as uh, studying full time for their main qualification. Most of our students also continue their studies in, in maths and English um, and take the opportunity to resit their GCSEs in order to uh, improve their grades whilst they're here. So we've got some awards now that recognises the achievements of, of those students for those particular subjects. Um, the first is uh, GCSE Maths Best Progress. Um, and this goes to a student who has worked hard this year by working methodically and calmly. By doing this, he's been working uh, two levels above his expected target in class and deserves to be celebrated for his success. Uh, the GCSE Mass Best Progress Award goes to Kai Bradshaw. Uh, the GCSE Maths Student of the Year uh, goes to a student who's consistently worked to a very high standard. He takes direction and advice very well and has produced some outstanding work throughout the year. His attendance is exemplary and his contribution is excellent. A very good role model. Uh, this award goes to Jacob Sagata. Um, and finally, in this category, the GCSE English Student of the Year. Um, this goes to a student who's worked very hard in English, always has a really upbeat and positive nature. He's very mature for his age, and even with a mid-year move back to Bristol, he continued with his main course and his English and maths, getting up at 5.30 a.m. every day to catch the train into Hereford. Never had a cross word to say, always had a smile on his face. This student has already won an award previously as uh, Plumbing Student of the Year, so deservedly goes to, once more, Jack Thompson. <laughs> and finally, uh, we have our overall Faculty of Technology Student of the Year Award. Um, so this... Um, is always a difficult decision uh, every year. Um, we we look at all our award winners and we try to decide uh, an overall faculty student of the year. And I think it's fair to say that we could have picked any number of 20 or 30 of you. Um, but for this particular student, um, he has been with us for uh, three years now, starting on uh, the level one course, progressing on to the level two last year and completing his level three course this year. Um, and throughout that time, he has been um, consistent in his determination, his commitment and his positive attitude. Um, since his introduction, um, this individ individual has displayed the qualities of a model student and has also shown those qualities which employers look for in their employees. So uh, deservedly, the overall Faculty of Technology Student of the Year Award goes to uh, uh, one of our Level 3 Motor Vehicle students this year, Shane Badley. Well done, Shane, and well done to all of our award winners. As we said before, it's been a very challenging uh, end of the year for all of us, uh, for students in particular. We know that it's been a challenge. Uh, we know for us in the college and, and the teaching staff in particular, it's been a challenge, but it has been a challenge that we have together uh, risen to and we have, I think, learned a great deal over the last few weeks. And I think, as uh, someone said earlier, um, to be an award winner in any year is uh, achievement enough. Um, to do it under current circumstances is, is truly remarkable, I think. So well done, uh, everybody, and I hope that you've been able to, to join us at home um, in these awards. Um, I'd like to uh, thank uh, the, the staff within the faculty, um, all the staff, um, teaching staff and support staff, um, but teaching staff in particular. I know um, you may think because we've had no students in the building for the last uh, three months that we've had nothing to do. Um, I can assure you that is uh, not the case. Um, we've had to work extremely hard um, to keep going, to keep the students going, to ensure that they get the achievements at the end of the year that they deserve and we are we are almost at the end of that particular marathon but i've been so impressed with the way everybody staff and students have, have really stepped up under these circumstances um i'd like to thank in particular my team leaders uh mike um and phil and uh nigel uh in his absence who've, who've led the teams this year and led them through these 
uh, recent difficult circumstances. The team leaders are the, are the glue that I think keeps the whole thing together and they've done a fantastic job. Um, finally, I would like to thank um, Hannah, who's probably out of out of shot and out of screen. Hannah is our faculty administrator. She organises these events. This is her first event, actually, um, that she's uh, organised for us in terms of awards. Um, I, I like to think she, she got off lightly because we've uh, We've not had to cope with uh, 200 people, which would normally be here, and all the furniture and, and the uh, and the catering, and the decorations that would normally go with that, and all the organisation. But nonetheless, it has been um, a, a real effort on on Hannah's part to pull things together, to get the nominations, to send the invites out, to put the presentation, to make sure everything uh, was was set up and running um, here today. I'd like to thank uh, Dave uh, Hargest uh, as well in, in marketing for facilitating the technical side of this. Um, but Hannah, um, as is tradition on these occasions, crowd or no crowd, we would like to present you with a, a thank you. So um, you may have to come on screen just to uh, accept. Be no peck on the cheek this year, but uh, thank you. Hannah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, we will conclude there. Uh, we look forward to welcoming, welcoming uh, many of our award winners back uh, next year. Some will go into employment or higher education or an apprenticeship, um, but many will return and we look forward to, to seeing you next year. Um, and uh, thank you for joining us online.